Hi everyone, so I'm now back to share with you everything that I got from Ikea. We have literally just dumped it from the cart into here, which is why you can see this whole mess beside me. There is going to be no structure to this. I'm literally just going to grab and show you what I got. So I'm going to start off with this because it's the smallest thing. I got this lampshade for the conservatory light. So originally we had a stand-up light, like a floor lamp, um, in our shed. And we now are just going to move it into the conservatory just so I have light because I didn't even think about not having a light in there. So I got this lampshade, it's called Jara. They had it in loads of different colors. This is just their basic one. I got it in the gray and this was three pounds. So I'm really, really happy with that. I've got this, because this is next to me. This is something that I put on my Instagram stories about whether to get the Billy bookcase or the lac side table. And whilst I was there, I was like, sod it. I'm gonna, I can always return one to Ikea because we've got a local one in Norwich, but it's not a big one, it's a click and collect. So I can always return stuff there, or I can always make use of another bookshelf. You know I can. So I was like, I'm here. This side table was six pounds. And I was thinking, when I do puzzles and I play games with P or coloring, we always do it on a table. And our coffee table will be in this room now. So I was like, I'd rather have it than not. So I just picked this one up. Um, like I said, it's lac and it's six pounds. They do it in black, birch like the wood effect, they do it in yellow. This is like a cream, actually, as opposed to white, but it's really, really light. It's a big square, we've got the legs at the bottom, but it's 55 by 55 centimeters, so it's a really good size. Um, and if we decide not to use it, I can always find a use elsewhere, or I can just return it. So that is the side table. I got two of these frames. This is one of the whole reasons as to why I went to Ikea, because I love these frames. These are the cheaper ones because they're plastic as opposed to wooden, but I, I don't care. I, if I save money, I don't care. These are the Fisk bow ones. This was four pounds per frame. Um, so it's got the black rim. They do it in white. I don't know if they do it in any other colors. But I've got the 40 by 50. So that's what that looks like. And I've got two of those. So these are for P's bedroom. I've got some prints. I think, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do another home decor haul or not. I'm not too sure how I'm gonna do it, but I've got loads of stuff I wanna share with you. So whether I mention it in like my house tour or whether I film clips separately, I'm not too sure, but I will show you the prints that I've got. Um, so I've got some really nice prints to put on the wall. I'm really making this house a home as soon as we move in, which is something I didn't do at our current house at the moment. Um, and then to go along with those other frames, I've got three of the 50 by 70 which is only five pounds so i got three i only need two but i'd rather have one like an extra one than not at all so again these are the fisk bow ones i don't know if it's going to show you 50 by 70 and like i said i got three and they were five pounds so they're just they're great i've actually currently got one in my hallway so if you've seen the print in my hallway that is what it is in and i, I just love those frames i think they're such great value for money um, I've got a curtain pole for our dining room. We've got the French doors that slide across. I am quite funny about windows at night time. I don't like, I just don't like windows at night time. It just freaks me out. I think like a serial killer is going to be stood in my back garden and I just don't like it. It makes me feel uncomfortable. So I bit the bullet and got this. This is the cheapest one that they had. It's called Racker and you buy it all separately. I don't know where the other parts are, I'll show you in a bit, but this was only like £2.50, I think, for the actual rod. Um, and it's adjustable as well, which I think is great. And it goes from 120 to 210. And I, yes, that will fit. Jesus, I just had a heart attack. It's 177 centimetres where we need it. So really, really good. They do it in different colours. They had it in grey, black. So that is fab, love that. Um, what else have I got? Okay. I'm going to show you some of the house plants I got because I went a little bit cray, but IKEA do the best house plants in my opinion. They're the cheapest, the most affordable. And I was there and I was like, just sod it. Let's just do it. I love house plants. So this one was my one that I really wanted but didn't want to spend the money on. It was only three seventy-five, but it was towards the end. I was like, I'm racking up my bill, but I just need this one. Really nice, like a thick leaf. Um, it's called Clusia rosea, this one. It's a 12 centimetre pot. 
um, and I just I love a house plant and I really like this one I feel like it's really really pretty this was 375 so it's a bit more than what I wanted to pay but I was willing to do that and then I got this one over here I'll show you the pots in a second this is one very similar to what Ellie's got this is called spat hip I don't know what it's called this this is another 12 centimeter one this is 250 which is why I got it it's quite nice quite bushy um, but I think these flower don't know but for 250 a little bit of greenery because Ikea fake plants they're like six pounds now and I'm not paying that I'd rather have like a, a real one um, I'll show you my trees in a second let's have a little conversation about plant pot shall we so on the website I found these um these china ones I've actually got one to show you called muck shot or something and they were like 199 for a nine centimeter 250 for a 12 three pounds for a 15 so on and so forth and they were china and they were all white and I was like okay I'll get those because I couldn't find the cheap ones then I found these I just love them. They look like concrete. They're not. They're plastic. They are called Nipon. Looks like that. And I went cray and I just brought loads because you're never going to find a plant pot that cheap and to the aesthetic that I like. So the nine centimeter ones were 99p. I brought loads of those. I'll show you those in a sec. The 12 centimeter ones, which I needed quite a few of, they were only 125. So I saved so much money. And then, so we've got that one there. I've got this one here, that one. And then I got two, I got the last two of the 21 centimeter ones, which are for my trees. Um, and these are only four pounds 50. They had the metal tin, like look like a bin ones for 6.50. And I was like, no, no, I'm not paying that. Don't want the metal bin one anyway. So I got this and I bloody love it. Just so nice. And I thought, because I, I was obviously going to get the white ones, I've got white walls everywhere, so I wanted the contrast. So I'm just obsessed with these. These are beautiful. And um, they also had them in the 25 centimetres, so a little bit bigger. They must have been maybe like 550 instead of 450, but I just love them. So the trees I got, oh God, I've got the soil on my carpet, is this one. I'm not going to get it out of the cellophane just yet. What are you called? Ficus elastica. There we go. This one was my one that I saw, loved, got a price check, and I was like, oh, do I get it? But it was eight pounds, and I thought eight pounds for a house plant is a bug. And it's like a thick rubber leaf plant. And it's dark green, which I quite like. I'm not too sure what these little hoo-hahs are all about, but it's a really nice plant, and I just I just loved it. And then I got my other one. Oh, I can't be bothered to lift it. There you go. Look, you can see one of these. Just your classic tree. Ellie actually got one from home base the other day for a fiver and I was absolutely raging. Five pounds for a tree is a bargain. But I got this one. This one was ten pounds. What are you called? Dressenta mar Mardenata. I don't know. But it was ten pounds and I don't know where I'm going to put all these things, but I just thoroughly enjoyed that. And then I've also got the other grey pot. You can see it down there. That's the 21 centimetre. Right, what else am I going to show you? Let's move the plants. Um, I've got this, which was a bargain. Now, this isn't going to be half forever home, um, obviously, because we're renting. I'd like to invest money in like a really nice lamp. Um, like you know the, the standing tripod ones like with the wooden legs and stuff or just like a really nice like like a wooden base with like a, a black tube I don't know what I'm talking about but like the really like I just love them I just love lamps and stuff but because we're not going to be here forever and I really can't afford to spend £50 on a lamp I got the cheap basic one called Knot and this is basically like what we've got at home. It's just a cheap floor standing light in black. Um, I can't, I can't really show you, but it's like the picture. And it was five pounds. And I thought for the dining room, when I don't want the main light on, because to be honest, I never really use main lights. I always just use lamps. Now I can't get the bloody thing shut. There we go. I just thought for a fiver, I may as well just grab it. So cheap, much cheaper than Argos and all of that. So I grabbed that one, they did that in black and white. This, which 
is a stand shelf thing. This was £10. I had the realisation a couple of days ago that I'm losing a significant amount of kitchen storage, which I didn't think about. Like when I was looking at the property first of all, I was like, oh, this needs to get done and this needs to get done. I didn't really take into consideration of the layout. Like even though we've gained space, like rooms, we're losing kitchen cupboards. So I was like, oh my God, like I'm losing that massive cupboard that I've got in my kitchen at the moment where my cereal goes and all of Rue's stuff and I'm losing a lot of space. I'm gonna do an old house tour and then a new house tour so you can do a comparison. Um, so I found we've got a, we've actually got a kit, like a cupboard, um, like an airing cupboard, which we don't have currently. So I've got this storage unit, which goes like that. So I can put cereals on the top, I can put roux, cat food on, I can put spices, things that need to stack and stand. I thought I could put on this. It's quite a slim line. I was gonna get like a drawer unit, but it's just not really that practical for like bigger, bulkier things. So I got this, this is 100 centimeters tall. I really like it. This was actually supposed to be for the bathroom. Um, but yeah, I got it in the white and it was 10 pounds, so. You're not really going to get storage cheaper than that, I don't think. Um, I have been looking for a while, so chucked a bit to find that. I've got this, which I don't really need to bring up to show you. Can you see that? That is an extra shelf for my Billy bookcase that I used to have in my bedroom. I don't know if you remember. I had like half of the Billy, and now I've got the big one. I got it for Christmas. And I took one of the extra shelves out of my old Billy for my new Billy. Does this make any sense? So I got a new shelf, that was seven pounds. Um, let me go and get my bag, bear with. In my pajamas, what a look. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, I got two light bulbs to go with the lamp because they were 90p and I'd rather get the ones that go with the lamp as opposed to not. I don't know if that makes any sense. I just got those, really like those. 90p. Bug. So I've got those. God, I'm out of breath. I got a new cutlery stand. This is simply to hold my rubber gloves in. I've got this absolutely hideous cream thing that says utensils on, and I hate it. It's vile. Neil got it before, like we met. So it's just one of these normal stands for my gloves. I got the extra pots that I was talking about. So I've already got plants that I need to fill in these. So these are the nine centimeter ones like that they were the 95p so i ended up getting four of those because like i said i'd rather have too many than not enough so i got four of those picked this up for my, for my mother-in-law for my sister-in-law um she wanted this magazine rack there's two in there for seven pounds i don't know why she wanted that but i got that for her neil asked for this of course he did he wanted tools and stuff the fixer kit um so we've got loads and loads of stuff um it's actually quite a good gift for father's day or your dad's birthday um 4.75 for that i didn't want to pay for that but he, whatever are they doing sorry about the banging um so i got him that oh here are my other two plant pots nipron the 12 centimeter ones i told you i needed to get a few i've got a couple of plants at home that need Need nice little pots, so I got those. And then the expensive one that I was telling you about, the muck muck shop one, is this one. I didn't do this in the 15, or I couldn't find it. So I was happy just to get one. This is the 15, like I said, it was three pounds. This is for my succulent that um, Auntie Carol got me, so I'm not too sure where I'm gonna put it, but I had to get one of those. I'll wrap that up in a minute. Um, got a new bin, this is 95p, this is the finesse one, finesse, hasn't got a name on it but I know it is because I like Ikea and I research the names. This would make an alright plant pot you know, if I got like a massive tree, no one would know I'd put it in a bin. So yeah, I got a new recycling bin, because that's, I just needed one because I was just grim. I got a shit ton of these, these are the bags, the big Ikea bags that I just brought forward. I got one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, for moving, great for like duvets, clothes, soft toys, shoes, stuff that I don't have boxes for. I just thought I'd rather get them than not. They're 50p a bag, they're great, great storage. Um, I've got loads of those up in the attic. 
full of stuff already. These are the little extra bits that I had to get for um, the curtain poles. You have to get two fixing kits, obviously, for the curtain pole. These were, I think they were two twenty-five each. So I got two of those in the white. And then I got the ends, which is £2.20 as well. And these literally just pop on the end of the curtain pole. So I wasn't expecting them to do it all separate. So I got a little bit overwhelmed and had to go on the website. But I think I got it all. I got this for Ellie. I don't know why she wanted this. This is like the smica. <laughs> the smica. And it's the eucalyptus leaf. I haven't got a clue what she's going to do with this. But she wanted it. So this was £2.50. So she wanted that. So I got that for her. Got myself a packet of tea lights because I just, you know what I'm like. I was so reserved when it came to um, candles. Normally I go absolutely mental in the candle section. I don't need them. I just wanted a pack of tea lights. They were 2 50 And then I got a bath mat because it was 2 75 And I wanted a little pop of colour. I don't quite like this. They had it in baby pink, teal, brown. But I quite like the navy. I wanted like a darker colour. Ideally I wanted the mustard but they didn't have one. So I just got that little one for the new bathroom. I got some tree decorations. These were a pound. And these pop out. So they're sort of like 3D. And I just loved them. So you get six in the pack. So I think white and gold might be my theme this year. So this is what they are. They're all like Christmas decks out. That's that bag done. Absolute workout. And fit. Can you see this brown box? I really can't be bothered to lift it up. This is the £15 Billy Bookcase for P's DVDs to go in the dining room. Oh, I need to take a minute. I'm so out of breath. God, I'm unfit. Yes, yeah, so I got that. That was £15. And then to go with that, somewhere here, I got the extra shelf because I can fit an extra shelf in it. And like I said, if I don't use it for DVDs or put it in her room, I can put it elsewhere. So I've got the extra shelf, that was four pounds. I got so many Drona boxes, it literally makes me sick. I spent about 50 pounds on Drona boxes because last weekend, my sister-in-law and brother-in-law, they went to Ikea and they've got a van, so they're able to get me two Calax units. So I also got two of those. And they were, it was £80 for two, they were £40 each. And I got them both in white, so I've got one in my hallway. And Neil's currently building the one in the dining room. Um, the one in the dining room is going to be all for piece toys and stuff. And then the one in the, the hallway is going to be for shoes and coats and scarves and all of that. Currently, I've just got a little shoe cupboard, which doesn't cut the mustard, it's tiny. And I don't like having coats hung up currently on the back of our door and that just pisses me off i don't want them sort of on a coat stand i just want them out of the way so i'm literally just going to fold up my coats and put them in a drone storage box so i picked four up for ellie because she asked me to grab her some so i got her the hot pink it's what she asked for she wanted baby pink but they discontinued that color which i i wanted too and they don't have it so she went for the hot pink she got four of those I don't know where to put all of this. I'm going to have to put this here now. They were £2.75 each. Um, hi. You okay? Yeah. I got this one for P's room. I just needed one. She's currently got one on the... Careful, okay? She's currently got one on top of her wardrobe and I'm going to... She's currently got six and I'm going to make it so she has eight. So I just need, needed to grab one more. This one was 3 50 because it's patterned. Place the floral one that's on top of P's wardrobe. I'm replacing it with the white one, which is going to go on the top. I store presents in it. I store baby wipes. All the extra stuff I store in those. I picked up eight of... Good girl, be careful with that. Right, okay. I then picked up eight of the grey, which is what is going to go in the dining room. So again, these are just the Droner storage boxes. They were £2.75 each. It worked out. I spent £22 on the grey. So much money, but they're so good. They're so deep. God, oh, Christ! Put it down. Can you go away, please? You're an absolute hazard. You just whacked me with a curtain pole. Why are you all yogurt raisins? And for the hallway... I went for black. I wanted navy, 
but they didn't they had blue but it was like a, it was blue it wasn't dark navy so i took the risk and i went for black because I, I don't know if you know i'm really into contrasting colors at the moment so i got the six black which looks like that and that's going to go in the hallway oh i need to show this that's right this is from primark i'll quickly just throw it in this hall table runner four pounds it's massive absolutely love it so that's going to go in the dining room and then finally that's it can i have those Thank you. I got seven of these. Now I love these. I've had mine for six years and they're just, they're just not in the best nick. So I wanted to get some more. These are actually a lot bigger than ours as well. I think these are double the size. And these open up to be a big dome lampshade. Again, don't get me wrong, I really like the black wide hexagon effect lampshades. But for like 20 pounds a lampshade, I'm not spending that price. So I got seven of these and these were 175 each. So I'm really, really happy with those, thank you. So they look like that. Really, really nice. Really, really happy with what we've got. We're now going to sort out this house and make it starting looking like a home. We don't move in for a, oh my God, we move in six days. No, four, no. Oh, yeah. Five days. Oh god, these are five days. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna start filming again and showing you our progress on the house and moving and stuff like that. So yeah, I hope you'll enjoy. Bear with me with the uploads. I'm gonna get this edited uh, very bin. Yeah, got a bin, careful in my head. You have to bear with me with the uploads and stuff. Our internet is going to get fixed the, the weekend we move in, which is fine. But we are currently go bear in mind we live just around the corner. Rings. We have What's that? Rings. It's not rings, it's stars. And stars. We currently have fibre optic at our old house and oh. this house won't have that. So we're going from like 35 megabytes or whatever it is a minute to like two. So you're going to have to bear with me with the update, with the uploads. Carpet man. I, carpet man. I might um, take a week off uploading, I'm not too sure. But I've got loads of videos planned and stuff. So. I hope you all enjoyed it. I'm going to leave you all in peace. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.